So basically what happened to you, it sounds like you've had a pretty nice whiplash. And whiplash is a sudden acceleration followed by a deceleration. You kind of whip your head, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that can cause a lot of shearing forces, a lot of irritation to the neck and to the spine. And in your case, at this point in time, it's enough effort, so to speak, into your neck and head that it's caused you some upper back pain. Uh, you've really limited your range of motion on the mid back. Actually, I actually think you have better neck range of motion than your mid back. And mm -hmm, now I think mm -hmm. your mid back, is, your neck has learned to deal with this issue a little bit. Mm -hmm. The mid back has not, and the mid back is just so spasmic that taking the deep breath really helps to expand the chest, which is a good thing. But in your case, when you have muscles and tension and all this tightness that's happening up into this mid back area, you cannot, when you take that- Doctor, this yep. is the area that bothers me the most. Like That this. area? Oh my God, it's like, I, I can feel the pain, you know? Exactly, I mean, of course in the neck, but it goes all the way down. You had a lot of tenderness to this vertebra, mm -hmm. the T4 mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. You had like a seven out of 10. But right here, I mean, you just had a lot of tenderness, not only on here, but also off to the side. Yes. A lot. So yeah, that and that makes sense why you have that like line of pain because of all these other issues here. So um, when I was testing you and those weird, these weird things that I just did to you, I was actually testing to see how irritated the nerves are. Because the one thing you said to me is like, hey, I feel some numbness from time to time. It's in mm -hmm. this hand. It's in this finger. So what I did is, if we have the nerves, what I did is I pulled down on these nerves, right? I kind of pulled down on the radial nerve, the ulnar nerve, and some of the median nerve. Actually, I didn't do the radial nerve because um, it just it's just so irritated for mm -hmm. you that I just kind of stopped there. Uh, but the median nerve and the ulnar nerve, which is the nerve that comes out this direction and goes down to these two fingers. So in, these ca in this case, what I did is I pulled down the nerve from the neck. Mm -hmm. And then what we did is I said, can you do this or can you do this? When you place your ear closer to that side, what that does, it creates more slack. There's more movement here. Mm -hmm. So that means we can pull further down that direction with no problem. But if, when I had you go this way while this was in this position, it caused more numbness and tingling mm -hmm. and it caused more pain. Mm -hmm. That tells me that there's enough tension within the neck and on the nerves up through here that's causing enough pain and discomfort. And there's also a lot of areas uh, through the neck that we have some of the dorsal scapular nerve. So you have a whole host of different things where this is actually that, that muscle that goes down here. Mm -hmm. A lot of the issue, like you said, you said it to me, uh, you hit it right nail on the head first time. You said, like, my posture has changed. It has, from what I even saw in the video or the picture. You're, like, you're up a little bit more, right? We're naturally like this, like, a little bit. But what happens is that when we lose some of the curvature of our neck and you've lost some, mm -hmm. we lose it. What will happen is that we'll put more forces, if that's the head, we'll put more forces onto the neck and onto the mid back. Now that you've been into like this position a lot because your neck went into spasm and protective mode, you really can't get a lot of that movement mm -hmm, back. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see why somebody did not give you exercise. I mean, unless they just didn't know. Uh, but I think exercise is going to be one of those big things for you. Also to help you with your pain and discomfort and getting into that movement, I'm going to do a lot of soft tissue on you to help free up a lot of these muscles, a lot of this tension uh, through this area. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Sure. So you have a long-standing whiplash. Mm 